It's Sandy from Balloon Utopia Market with Balloons. And today we're here at the Manchester Grand Hyatt setting up uh, some columns for a trade show booth for Agora Pulse. And we are, this is very exciting because not only are we putting the columns, but we're also going to integrate it with uh, a lead generation system, which you'll see in a little bit. We're going to put some signs on it to help people find, not only find their booth, but also opt into their mailing list. But that's all another topic. For now, let me tell you how we're going to do these square packed columns. These are really fun columns because they give a very streamlined linear look. And the way that we do this is by alternating using 11 inch balloons and 5 inch balloons. So what we have here is we've got our 11 inch balloons, right? We've got them tied into duplets as always. And as always, we're going to make a quad. Now you can see here that we've already started it. We've put the first couple layers on. So we start with the 11 inch and then we're going to put the 5 inch. And so what's happening is because the 5 inch kind of provides a little buffer between the layers of 11 inch, it's going to line them up on top of each other instead of making that spiral kind of uh, packing pattern. All right, so um, basically you just put it on and unlike a spiral, or a spiral column where you would then have your colors rotating, for this one we really want that linear look of it going straight down and the, co and the colors being continuous. So we're putting them, making sure that we pack our orange on top of our orange. And then you'll see those five inches are just going to kind of play peekaboo on the column. All right, so now we're going to take our five inch quads and you see that, ooh, <laughs> you see these are sized pretty much true to size, about five inches. So again, we're taking our duplets, wrapping them together and putting them on to make our quad. And, ooh, <laughs> and it's going to pop. And the key here is that you just want to make sure that you don't pack it too tightly because you do want them to peek through. You don't want it to, um, to disappear inside of it. All right, so we're just going to continue doing that, like so, all the way up the column. And then, of course, we will put our, um, we will put our um, uh, three-foot balloon on top. All right, so here we go, and bear with me. If I can figure how to speed it up in editing, I will. So here we go. You can see we have this nice square pack column. It's very uh, linear. And now I'm just going to put our three footer on top. I know you guys have seen me do this before. But basically, all we're going to do is we've got the 260 tied to it. And uh, I'm just going to pull this down because I'm not tall enough to reach there. And are you still got me? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put this on. And you see I separate the two, two, the two pieces of the 260s. And I bring it down a couple of clusters. And then I kind of wrap it, you can't see what's going on here, but uh, I wrap it around the pole in a couple of ways and crisscross it and then tie it. And I do it in a couple of places, so that way it's just that much more secure. <laughs> if I don't lose my fingering. So here we go, and you see with the way that we have these uh, dual colors, we can set it so that we've got the orange on the side and the silver in the center, or if we just slightly twist it, we've got the silver on the side and the orange center. So let's just make sure we make sure that disappears in there. All right, and there we go. We'll come back and we'll show you the picture with the signs, and we'll talk more about. It.